Hello students, today we will discuss about the new relation. Now, when you will have the formation of the notochord, the formation of notochord act as a inducer. That means it induces the overlying ectodermal cells to change their behavior and that behavior is required for the formation of our central nervous system and that process is known as neurulation. So whenever you will have this question in your exam, neurulation, how to write it, let's discuss. So always you have to first write down about the definition of this process, what is neurulation. So neurulation is a process and by this process, finally there is a formation of neural tube and for the formation of neural tube, first there is a formation of neural plate, the plate convert into the fold, fold fuses with each other and finally you will have the neural tube. So it is a process to form the neural plate, neural folds and closure of the folds give rise to the neural tube and this whole process is known as neurulation. Clear? So what is neurulation? Neurulation is formation of your neural tube. Clear? Now the neurulation is also seen in the third week of intrauterine life from the fertilization. Now what is the prerequisite for the neurulation? Now for the neurulation, you have to understand that there is a formation of notochord. And in the class of my notochord, I already explained that this notochord derives from the cells of your primitive node. So my dear students, what will happen when there is a formation of notochord take place? You know that notochord lies below the your ectoderm. So suppose this is your ectoderm and below the ectoderm, you will have the formation of notochord in the midline. So this is your notochord. Now what will happen? The cells of the ectoderm which are lying just above this notochord will change and these much of cells which are overlying the notochord change themselves and this layer of the ectodermal cells is known as neural plate. Clear? So now what is happening that under the effect of the notochord, this whole ectoderm has been divided into the two part, neural ectoderm and these areas are non-neural ectoderm. So what is happening that because of the formation of the notochord, you are having the two types of the ectoderm. One is the neural ectoderm or neuroectoderm. Now this neuroectoderm is the area which overlies the notochord and it is going to form your neural tube. The remaining part of the ectoderm is known as non-neural ectoderm. So now let's discuss the process of the formation of the neural tube. So first what is happening? There is a formation of neural plate. So neural plate is seen in a midline. Now why? Because it is actually the ectoderm which is overlying the notochord and we know that notochord is a midline structure. So the ectoderm of the midline becomes thick. So what is the changes taking place? The epithelial of ectodermal lining is become thick and this thick epithelium under the effect of notochord is known as neural plate. So the thickened ectoderm which now the important thing is here that this thick ectoderm also lies in the same area of the notochord. That when you will see the embryonic disc, you know that there is a precordal plate on the anterior aspect. There is a formation of the primitive node and primitive streak in the posterior aspect. So my dear students, you have the notochord here in the underlying ectoderm. Now the area of the ectoderm which is in the same plane that means this of much of ectoderm from precordal plate to the primitive node is going to form your neuroectoderm clear neuroectoderm also occupy the same area which is occupied by the notochord so that's why it is written here that ectoderm which lies between the primitive node and the precordal plate is going to show the formation of neural plate. Clear? So my dear students, this is a question of your exam that what is the position of neural plate? So the position of neural plate is 
similar to the position of notochord that means they are midline structure but they extends from precordal plate to the your primitive node clear so the notochord is a structure which is deeper to the ectoderm so overlying ectoderm is showing the change to form the neural plate now once the plate will form now what will happen now suppose this is the plate now in this plate you will have a depression now when you will take the transverse section of the plate now this is your plate and if i am taking this transverse section now in this transverse section you are able to see that there is a midline dip is seen into the plate now this midline dip into the plate is going to form your neural groove and the these elevated areas of the groove are known as neural fold so in the next step there is a formation of neural groove and neural fold so what is happening that neural plate first elongate now see this is a very important line and you have to write down this line whenever you are writing the short note on the neural plate because this elongation is very important prerequisite to form this invagination so once the plate is going to form it is first undergo the elongation and once the elongation complete then there is a formation of a longitudinal invagination now this longitudinal median groove or invagination is known as neural groove so what will happen here you will have the primitive streak and here is the precordal plate and this is the area where you will have the neural plate so in the neural plate there is a formation of a dip and this dip which is present in the midline longitudinally is known as neural groove and the lips of these neural groove are known as neural fold clear so neural fold is there neural groove is there now the important thing is that neural folds are more prominent in the cranial part of the plate and it is a sign of the formation of brain vesicles clear so what is happening till now we have seen that first there is a formation of the notochord and under the effect of the notochord the overlying ectoderm from precordal plate to the primitive node undergo the changes which is known as neuroectoderm now this neuroectodermal plate is known as neural plate this neural plate undergo the elongation then there is a formation of a longitudinal groove and that groove is having the two sides elevated edge and these edges are known as neural folds clear now what will happen in the next step that there is a formation of neural tube now how the tube will form the folds will start to join each other and when the fusion of the neural folds occurs there is a formation of a pipe like structure which is known as neural tube but my dear students there are some things which are very important to understand here that when there is a formation of this groove is taking place now see the invagination of the neural plate increases with the time and there is a prominent neural fold will appear this is your underlying notochord and here is your endoderm now this is your mesodermal area now you have to understand here that when this type of the neural invagination is taking place there are three sets of the cells will see one is the cells which are present in this neural groove these are the cells of neuroectoderm clear so this is a one set of the cell the second set of the cell which is present here on your this area which is your non neural ectoderm so this is the second set of the cell which is non neural ectoderm there is a one more set of the cell which is present in the neural folds and my dear students this is a third set of the cell which is present here on these neural folds clear so whenever the neurulation is taking place you have to keep in mind that there are three sets of the cells one is the cells of this neural ectoderm one is the cells of the ectoderm other than the neural plate 
and one is the group of the new cell mass which is seen on the neural folds. So when this neural tube is going to form, what will happen that same variety of the cell fuse with the same variety of the cell. Clear? So what will happen? This green line join with the green line, the red line join the red line and these two blue structure join with each other. So in the next step, what will happen that when you will have the completion or the fusion of your folds, so this green line will continue with each other. That means the non-neural ectoderm will form a continuous layer. Now what will happen that these neural plates will join each other and they will form a circular tube and these two cell mass which are present on the neural folds also join with each other and they will form a another mass of the cell here. Clear? So now my dear students, whenever you are writing the neural tube, first the fusion of the neural fold converts the neural groove into a tube. So tube arises from groove. How? By the fusion of folds. The tube separates from the surface ectoderm. You can see that tube has been separated from the surface ectoderm. The fusion of the neural fold start into the cervical region at the level of fifth somite level. Now see, this is again a question of your exam. What is happening that, suppose this is a, uh, your vertically placed neural groove. Now the folds of the neural groove start to join each other. So my question is, from which point the folds will fuse first? In the thoracic region, in the lower part, in the upper part. So answer is in the upper part, the folds start to fuse with each other and that is in the cervical region. But in the cervical region, the landmark is at the level of fifth somite. Now, then the fusion occurs in a bidirectional. That means once the fusion starts into the fifth somite level, then the fusion will go in the up, upward direction as well as in the di downward direction and the fusion will take place to form a complete tube. Clear? Now, as a result, the neural tube is formed. But my dear students, this is the important thing which you have to understand here when you are writing the closure of the fold that same type of the cells fuses with the same type when there is a separation of the tube is taking place from the surface ectoderm. So what is happening? The surface ectoderm will self fuse with each other. Neural tube ectoderm will fuse with each other and the cells which are present on the tip of the neural folds will form in another set of the mass. So when there is a detachment of the neural tube from the surface ectoderm will take place, this new mass is known as neural crest cells. What is that? Neural crest cells and these cells arises from the neural folds. Now there is a one more term comes is what is neuropores? Now my dear students, you have to understand one thing that this pipe like structure when come out, now the pipe is having the two end, one is known as anterior end and this is known as posterior end, clear? And through this what is happening, the amniotic fluid is circulate and it is coming out. Now these ends of the neural tube known as neuropore. So one is known as anterior neuropore, another is known as posterior neuropore. Now these neuropores has to close and once they will close, you will have a closed formation of neural tube. So the neural tube has a cranial and caudal openings and these openings are respectively known as anterior and posterior neuropores. Now the neural tube communicate with the amniotic cavity with the help of these neuropores for the purpose of nutrition. Now the closure of the anterior neuropore occurs first. Now this is again a question that if you are having the two openings of neural tube, which opening closes first? Answer is anterior opening. Now this anterior opening closes on the 25th day of development while the posterior fuses on the 27th day of the development. Clear? So the closure of the anterior or the cranial neuropore occurs earlier. Clear? You can see that it uh, uh, closes two days before then the posterior neuropore. So now 
what is the fate or what is the future of the new relation. So what will happen when you will have this closed pipe which is known as neural tube will show the dilatation in the cranial area. The cranial part of the tube will dilate while the caudal part of the tube is remain narrow. Now these three dilatations are going to form your brain. These are known as brain vesicles while the tubular posterior part of the neural tube is going to form a spinal cord. So what is the future of the neural tube? It will give rise to the central nervous system that means the brain and spinal cord. Clear? But there is a one more important thing about the neurulation that it gives rise to a new generation of the cells which are known as neural crest cells and I just explain you that how the neural crest cells form. Neural crest cells are the cell masses which are present on the neural folds and when there is a fusion of the forces taking place the only thing which I have to keep in mind that same variety of the cell fuses with the same variety. So non-ectodermal cells fuses with each other, neural plate cells fuses with each other and the fold cells which are of different variety fuses with each other to form the neural crest cells. Now what is the applied aspect of neural neurulation? Now there are neural tube defects will take place. Now what do you mean by the neural tube defect? That we know that the neural groove has to complete the fusion to form a tube. But if the fusion of the neural folds will not take place or the anterior no neuropore will not close or the posterior neuropore will not close, all these will lead to the congenital malformation in the formation of central nervous system which is known as neural tube defects. So neural tube defects can be occur if the cranial part of the tube remain open. Neural tube defects can be occur if the posterior part of the tube remain open. It's a separate long question but here in the neurulation you have to mention two three very commonly seen neural tube defect in which one of the very common defect is an encephaly. Now N means absent and encephalus means brain. So in the N encephaly there is absence of the part of the brains are not formed. Why? Because the failure of the closure of anterior neuropore. So what is the cause of N encephaly? Failure of the closure of neural tube near the cranial region. So when the upper part of the tube will not fo uh, form, you will have the failure of the formation of brain. If the lower part of the tube is having failure in the closure, then you will have the spina bifida or rachischisis. So these are the two words which you have to write down in the form of lower tube defect and this is a upper tube defect. Clear? Lastly, you have to draw this diagram where you can see that this is your ectoderm, this is your endoderm, this is your formation of notochord. Now under the effect of this notochord, this overlying ectoderm is showing the change and this is known as neural plate. Now once the invagination will take place, this is known as neural groove and on the groove you will have the folds. Now these folds are having a different variety of the cells which are known as neural crest cells and when the tube is going to form, the fold is joined with each other, so there is a formation of the neural tube, the surface ectoderm will become continue and between the overlying ectoderm and underlying neural tube, you will have a new generation of the cell mass which is known as neural crest cells, clear? So now at the end of this class of the neurulation, you should have the idea about the definition, you should have the idea about what is neural plate, neural groove, neural folds, how the neural crest cell form, what is the future of the neurulation and if the neural folds will not fuse, it will lead to the neural tube defects. So this is all for the session. Thank you.